So we are back to troubleshoot our intended link. So let's see exactly which of the two places it's going and why it isn't saving this. So at this point, I just want it to die either here or there. So I don't want it to redirect. I just want to do this. And then I just want to echo one of these here. So I'm just going to say here one, that's what I do when I want to see which of the two is actually working. So I'll put here one and I'll put here zero like this. And then also I'm going to echo out, or oh, I'll use show. I'll show that here and then I'll do the same thing here so that I see whether it's actually being saved. Okay, so let's go back and try again. So we are checking out and things didn't work here because we are logged in. Okay, back again, click. Okay, there we go. So it goes to here zero and it actually does have, uh, it actually saved this. Hmm, okay. So maybe the problem is, uh, let's see, here zero, which is here. So things are looking good, actually. It is saved. All right, so if things are saved here, we are then good. So let me remove this. Let's remove that header. And let's remove the here. And let's remove the show. So things here are working fine. What I want though is to go to the uh, login and see where we are going wrong. So login right here. So root home. Oh, okay. So if the intended is saved, this is what we will do. So here what I want to do instead is tell it to die over here. And before that, I want to show if intended exists. Okay, and what value it has, no problem. So let me refresh and it will take me to the home page, obviously. And let me try now to add my password and log in. Boom. So you see, there is actually a link there and things are actually good. Okay. So what is going on? So if I then, uh, so this is set, if is set, so it's definitely set. So let me move the die here and see if it would die again or redirect, resend. Okay, so which means it's going in here. Everything seems to be working fine. So I'm going to remove that. So where is our problem then? Uh, header location that so I think our issue is the lack of HTTP this is our major problem so let me go back to uh, config here and at this point I just want to add a string HTTP full colon slash slash like that and concatenate that to the server name so let's give it another shot and see if adding the HTTP worked Fingers crossed, let's see here, if everything is okay. Great. Now, I don't want to unset it just yet because I don't want to go through that other process of setting it again. I'll just, in case it doesn't work. So refresh, resend. Oh yeah, what's going on? So it's still dying and not doing what I want it to do. What's going on? Let me just refresh the page. And let's try password. Oops. Why isn't this working when I click the enter key? Oops. Seems to not want to work at all. It's just refreshing.
something weird going on here. Okay, let's try one more time. And enter. Okay, so it seems to be refreshing and not redirecting at all. And it's not even showing. Uh, let's try die here again, because I'm not really sure what the problem is even. Okay, so we do have errors, that's okay. So that is running smoothly. Okay, and it did die. Let's see, echo intended and then die, like so. I think the thing is uh, I should allow it to unset because it was set when we hadn't put the HTTP because it's not there. So, all right, troubleshooting can be a pain in the butt, so uh, bear with me. So we unset this, let's try to unset it. Resend. Okay, finally. So let's try to set it again by logging out. And let me come back to add an item. Next, let's try again. And let's add a password. So this time we do have the HTTP. Hopefully it's going to work. Okay. So it has taken me to the page that I was supposed to be on when I was asked to log in. So let's try and go to a different page this time. So I'm going to go to the blog here, for example, and let me log out of the blog. But of course we don't need to log in when viewing the blog, but let's change that just for a second. So I'm going to go to checkout here, right at the very top, uh, right here. I'm going to copy what's here. In fact, uh, I just need that inside here. Then I'll go to the blog controller and right inside where we get the user data, I'm just going to add that, which will require me to be logged in. So if I now, I'm here on this page, if I refresh, and then now I try to log in, it should take me back to the blog. So log in and I'm back on the blog. So this is a better way of redirecting your users to avoid frustration, because if you're going to ask people to sign up or to log in before they can buy or pay for items, it's a good idea to take them back exactly where they were before you ask them to log in, etc, etc. So it seems uh, this is working just fine. So I'm going to save this and uh, it's good to go. All right. So this is it. We are done with this website. Uh, you can stop here if uh, you've gotten everything that you need because we can, somebody can make orders, make payments, etc., etc. But as a bonus, those who want to continue learning, uh, I'm going to add, because if we go to the admin here, I'll add two or three more videos just to explain how to add a dashboard here. I want us to add these things here, you see, uh, at least we can see how many users are there, how many admins are there, how many orders have been made, how many orders were paid for, how many are unpaid for. Just a list of things like the way it is here. Just a simple thing like this to get you started so that you can figure out what other things you want to add at the bottom here for yourself. Okay, so hopefully you've learned something new and I'll see you in another video.